So first we want to quickly introduce you what the feature is. It's called Driver Attention Assist. So as you see in the Super Cruise where you get alerts for distracted driving, that is something we do now in the manual driving as well. So the whole time, every time you get in the car, when you turn on the car, the DMS camera will start rolling and try to assess you. As you start driving, once you hit a specific speed, it's going to start tracking you to see if you're paying attention to the road. And as you're driving, over time, it starts aggregating your data and start rating you to see how drowsy you might be feeling. So most of the times in the first day, you wake up in the morning, get your coffee, you're pretty alert, but as you start driving, it real time try to assess you every single 50 millisecond to see what your drowsiness looks like. And for it to alert only when you need it, not when you don't want it and be less annoying. So to show you, Ed, this is the camera. I'm sure you've seen it with Super Cruise. So this is the camera, like in the steering wheel, you have a couple of IRs on each side to help the camera see the driver at nighttime. Yeah. So we work in both scenarios. So you, you may be able to see them with your, your camera right now. You'll have a few little dots over Three here. Three little dots flashing maybe. And those are just infrared LEDs to illuminate my face as, as I drive. Okay. All right. So the way the customer can interact to find the feature is they can go to the settings menu here and then they go to the vehicle and if you scroll down there's a, you'll see uh, driver attention assist that is the name of our feature so a customer has a uh, flexibility to turn on and turn off any part of the algorithm that they please they can turn off the attention detection if they don't want that or they can turn on the drowsiness detection let's say they're going on a long drive they want to make sure they're engaged with driving tasks they can turn it on they can adjust the sensitivity based on how they feel so we have explanation here so if you choose low sensitivity, they, what if you're a driver, you don't want too many alerts, they can adjust that. And let's say if you're a driver who want to be more uh, informed, they can always choose the uh, normal sensitivity to go back to get to the natural state of the feature. Okay. All right, so we'll start with some attention alerts. So um, for example, I have a, a phone in my hand or a handy walkie talkie. I'm looking down and texting, not paying attention to the road, and I get a distraction alert until I look back on the road, and then our alert goes away. Um, Play with the or if I'm messing with the infotainment, looking through all my different settings, and not paying attention, I'm still not paying attention, then when I come back, no longer alert. Or maybe I'm speaking with the passenger and just kind of looking over this way and not really paying attention to the road. I might have dipped below our speed threshold actually. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. So I just Thanks. issued the alert request and as Nick and I said earlier, even if you put the alert request out, we want to make sure we're confident. So now it's more like a waiting time where the system is constantly assessing you to get the confidence it needs to give you an alert. So in a like few seconds, you'll slowly start getting an alert pop up soon. So you can see it's going to be a red cup flashing and it gives you a message that was strongly advised instead of the previous message of rest recommended, urging the importance of that. And let's say like Nick didn't respond yet like that. It disappears, but it gives you an extra pop up option, as Nick mentioned, of calling a friend to help you with your cognitive behaviors and also go to nearest rest break like a coffee shop where you can take a quick break but it also gives you an option to open a playlist okay. let's say he's closed his eyes again still after the alert then it continues to give you a message and when you click phone a friend it goes to your phones list right now we don't have any phone connected but if you have your phone connected it will land to your recents page or um, your actual call log history so you can call somebody that you recently spoke to and now we'll do it again He's going to trigger again by closing his eyes because he's already severe level. He gets another alert. And now you open a playlist. So it's going to go, let's say if your phone is not paired, it's going to go to your FM, AM, FM. So you can listen to the music. I know he has this, <laughs> the volume down right now. And you can select it to help you with your health. Right. Back. Oh. And he's going to do another micro sleep event so you can look at the third option and what it does. Closing his eyes now. And then he got the same alert. 
and now when I say go to nearest point of interest, it looks for nearest gas stations or depending on where you're located or coffee shops to make sure you can go go there and take a quick rest break and get some coffee or walk around to get you energized.